Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to knit the wasp nest stitch or some people call it the honeycomb and I like the honeycomb better because it looks more like a honeycomb stitch. So here's a sample that I've knitted with blue and, and grey yarn. Uh, it's quite bulky but um, I think it looks beautiful. Um, it doesn't look that good on the back side so you can't knit a scarf with it but um, but I would knit a blanket and I think if you do an edge uh, like a garter stitch edge or something like that it will it will lay flat of course after blocking as well and it's quite stretchy too so um, here I um, I have a multiple of eight stitches plus one on each end so you need to cast on multiple of eight plus one on each side um, as edge and I like to cast on on two needles because um, that makes the stitches a bit more loose and easier to work with especially with the first row because the first row is hard to work with so here we're going to start with row number one and it's very easy um, you have two different yarns this is yarn A which is like a dark red um, color so for row one you knit all stitches with one of your yarns now depends what color you want to do the um, the pattern with or if you want the dominant color to be the lighter color then this would be the non dominant dominant color that you start with so here I am knitting um, all the stitches um, I can't remember how many stitches I've got here but um, anyway you can just um, cast on as many as you think you need for your project row number two is again knit all stitches with the same yarn um, and I'm just gonna speed it up here um, because I'm sure you know how to do the knit stitch By the way, to do this uh, pattern, all you need to know is knits and purls and slip stitches. It's very, very easy, even though it looks complicated. And now we're ready for row number three when we're going to introduce our dominant yarn. And by dominant, I mean the one that we use more, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, so here is row number three, and we call it B, I say here. And that's like a um, pinky lilac-y color that I've got. Um, I'm gonna knit one for the edge. Oh, sorry, I got a bit out of focus here with, with my camera. And then I'm gonna knit three. And then I'm gonna slip two. So here you go. I'm gonna slip two purl-wise, as if to purl with the yarn in the back and then I'm going to knit three more and then start again knit three slip two purl wise knit three and we do this all the way to the last stitch and the last stitch we knit one which is the edge or you can think about it as knit one the edge knit three slip two knit six slip two knit six slip two you know and, and keep going like that until you get to the to the end and I made it here that we start in the middle of the hexagon that's where our um, pattern starts so we're gonna continue um, with row number four by the way we're gonna keep going to row number 18 and that's the end of one lot of the pattern so row number four using the lightest color we're gonna slip one and then we're gonna purl three then we're gonna slip two with yarn in front then we're gonna purl six because we have um, we knitted six uh, on the previous row then I'm going to slip two again with the yarn in front 
and then knit six again oh sorry pearl six again by the way i i haven't um used this one in socks knitting in the round but i'm pretty sure that you can do it um but if i do i'll i'll keep you posted so um go on my instagram and and wait for it there and i'll probably post a photo of some socks soon or something like that uh, okay we're gonna continue with row number five which is slip one knit three slip two knit three and we'll keep going knit three slip two knit three knit three slip two knit three to the end of the row so this is kind of like row number three the only difference is that we slip the first stitch so it looks nicer on the edge and knit the last three and the last stitch which is the edge and we're going to turn the work again you can see it's, it's kind of getting a little bit of shape now and as I wrote here row number six is same as row number four and um, I will have all these written down in the description below so um, click for um, for the all the instru written instructions in the info bar row number seven as row number five and row number three so we knit all the knitted stitches and then we slip the one that was slipped row number eight same as row number four and six and now um, we're ready for row number nine it looks quite cool now very satisfying this stitch <laughs> row number nine with color A so we are back to the darker color we're gonna knit all stitches including the ones that we slipped so we're going to knit all stitches to the end of the row. Yeah, I split it up again. Now we're going to start row number 10, which is the same. We knit all stitches and I always slip the first stitch because I wanted to have a nice edge. The only time when I don't slip the first stitch is when I change colors. So now we're ready for the next half of our pattern. And you can't really see the hexagon here yet. It's kind of like a, a circle. But um, once we get on with the second section, then, then you're going to see the hexagons. So we're in row 11, we're back to color B, which is the lightest color. So we're going to knit one, slip one, then we're going to knit six, then we're going to slip two pearl wise, then knit six again. slip two then knit six again pardon um sorry knit six again then slip one and then um pull the, uh, knit the last stitch now um row 12 slip one which is the edge then we slip another one then we pull six then we slip one and we we take it from the beginning slip one pearl six slip one slip one pearl six slip one and then we pearl the last which is the edge and we continue with row number 13 which is same as row number 11 I just I'm just going to speed through all these up because 
by now I think you you kind of got the idea of what we're doing here so slip one which is the edge slip another one then purl six slip two purl six slip two purl six slip one and pull the, the edge again row 15 same as row 13 we're almost at the end keep going and I'm telling you once you see the way it looks you're gonna want to knit blankets <laughs> by the way that's my new new project for this pattern I'm gonna knit some baby blankets row 16 same as row 14 if only I can knit this fast <laughs> now it, it's kind of getting the shape um, it's quite pretty I think so we're down to the last two rows we're back to the dark color and we have row 17 and 18 which um, are knit all stitches so we knit this row all the way to the end turn our work and knit the next row all the way to the end rows makes this it's beautiful I think it's gorgeous and it will look nice in a hat or socks or baby blankets or even a cardigan if you want um, but yeah uh, let me know if you need any more help please put your comments down below and um, I'll try to answer as fast as I can thanks for watching Please subscribe.